a rose for the victims of a brutal turning point in modern Taiwanese history. This is one of many rallies happening throughout Taiwan today, the 28th of February, when people here commemorate what's become known as the 228 incident. 76 years ago, the ruling Kuomintang, or KMT, brutally suppressed anti-government uprisings across Taiwan, killing tens of thousands of people in just a few weeks. This is a flashpoint of where it all started. Government forces struck a lady trying to sell illegal cigarettes and then fired a bullet into the air, killing an innocent bystander. And as the crowd became angrier, louder, the government tried to shut down the protest with violence. That led the KMT to enact martial law for 40 years, a period known in Taiwan as the White Terror. In that time, any mention of the 228 incident could get people thrown in prison. Even rallies like these would have been quickly and sometimes violently dispersed. But now people have the right to freely demonstrate and make their voices heard. I think Taiwan's government is very young, but we've been working on the right direction. You can see that we can vote now. We can't imagine that in the past, we can't vote in the black and white. We can't vote, we can't go out. We can face to face and face to face and face to face and face to face. In the southern city of Tainan, President Tsai Ing-wen reiterated her commitment to a democratic Taiwan. Taiwan has shed its authoritarian past to become one of the freest democracies in Asia. The country now wants to ensure this dark period in history won't be repeated or forgotten. Howard Zhang and Bing Wang for Taiwan Plus.